Hi there, it's Cindy from FrenchEasy.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to conjugate the verb faire in the future tense. We're also going to touch on how to actually form the future tense in French, as well as when you should be using the verb faire. If you've been considering taking lessons with a native French teacher, have a look in the description for the offer italki is offering my viewers. Le verbe faire au futur. So, to form the future tense in French, you usually need to add future tense endings to the stem, which is usually the infinitive of the verb. So, to form the future tense of regular verbs, you usually use the infinitive and then add the future tense endings. But, that said, faire is irregular in the future. That is to say, faire does not use the infinitive as its stem, but it does use the same endings as any other verbs in the future. So, to form the future tense of faire, you need to add either a, 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 un, e, or un to the stem of faire, which in the future is fer, spelled f-e-r. Like so, je ferai, repeat, je ferai, I will do, or I will make, tu feras. Again, tu feras, il fera, repeat, il fera, elle fera, elle fera, un fera, repeat, un fera, nous ferons, nous ferons. We will do or we will make. Vous ferez. Vous ferez. Ils feront. Again. Ils feront. Elles feront. Elles feront. They will do or they will make. Remember that on can also mean we. Oui. If you'd like more information about subject pronouns, click on the info card that will pop up at the top of your screen. So let's have a look at when you should use the verb faire as well as some examples. So as you probably already know, faire usually means to do or to make as long as what you mean is that you are doing or making something. In other words, as long as faire or to do or to make is followed by a noun. For example, Je ferai un gâteau pour ton anniversaire. Je ferai un gâteau pour ton anniversaire. I will make a cake for your birthday. Ferai is followed by a noun, un gâteau, just like make is followed by a cake. Il fera ça demain. Il fera ça demain. He will do that tomorrow. So even though ça is not actually a noun, it does replace a noun, as what we mean is that he will be doing something tomorrow. So in this case, we use the verb faire. However, if in your English sentence to make is followed by an adjective rather than a noun, then you cannot use faire. Instead, you need to use rendre followed by the adjective, because in that case, nothing is actually being done or made. For example, elle le rendra plus heureux. She will make him happier. Tu la rendras méfiante. You will make her wary. Happier and wary are adjectives, so we need to use rendre instead of faire to mean make. You can also use faire to talk about sports you take part in or musical instruments you play. For example, il fera du piano. Il fera du piano. He will play piano. Je ferai du basket l'année prochaine. Je ferai du basket l'année prochaine. I will play basketball next year. And finally, the verb faire is also often used to talk about the weather, particularly when talking about temperatures or whether the weather is nice or not so nice. For example, il fera beau demain. Il fera beau demain. The weather will be nice tomorrow. Il ne fera que 9 degrés dehors. Il ne fera que 9 degrés dehors. It will only be 9 degrees outside. 
This is the end of the lesson. If you'd like to get the written version of my lessons so you can revise on the go and monthly exercises to practice what we learn here, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash frencheasy. You'll also find other great rewards you may be interested in over there. And if you found this lesson useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If it's your first time on my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I upload new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And remember, you can also find the links to my social media in the description. Thanks for watching. À la prochaine. Bye.